hey guys and welcome back to my channel today i am going to be decluttering um again which i thought went really well last time so i've got two boxes which i'm just gonna show you two boxes so this one's really quite heavy so it's this one and then i've got a box over there which is at the end of my bed uh, um which um has just got shampoos and stuff in so i'll declutter that one for you as well the decluttering video did go really really well so um and because i had so many people commenting on it i thought that i thought that i would film another one for you and as i'm just going through this declutter um i thought that would be brilliant to film it on camera for you so the first thing that um obviously is in the declutter i don't think i'll be checking this out to be fair it is the carex mild and sensitive shower gel yes i know shower gel in with like face stuff but um i use it to clean out my miracle complexion sponge as i just find it just a really good um i really like using it for it um it's just really good it gets all of the makeup out so that is what i use it for and it has taken me a little while to get down here but i'm hoping to get further this this year and actually chuck this out well get rid of it use it the next thing is the obviously the real techniques um brush sweller thing it did come with some sachets that i did use that i did use up but um in all honesty i'm not paying another four pounds when i can get this for two pounds or a pound from poundland so i'm not spending more money that I need to so um, I just swirl this in I just do my brushes swirl 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 and that seems to work really well so this is a cheap alternative if you haven't already and again I won't be decluttering this because I do like using it now um, looking at uh, Mr. Lair Waters um, this is the Garnier cleansing water I do use this often actually and I do quite like it um, it's just perfect travel size, although I have been using it recently. Um, I often, I don't know if you can actually undo this. I thought you could, but you might not be able to. No, I didn't think they're going to, are they? Let you open it. But I, I think I had another bottle which you could open. And I was just pouring uh, micellar water in there. But these are really good. Real good for your skin. But I'm using wipes at the moment, which I think are from Waitrose. The Essential Waitrose cleansing cucumber wipes just because they were on offer and i fancy trying them so i'm not really using this at the moment the next thing is the garnier summer body moisturizing lotion sun kissed look um obviously as you guys know i obviously decluttered the palmer's tan i'm going to give this one last chance this year and if i still don't enjoy it i am going to end up decluttering because um, it is a gradual tan, which is fine. Like, I don't mind gradual tans. So I'll probably try it again this summer. See if I still like it. See if I still enjoy it. And if I don't enjoy it, I'm just going to bin it. Um, I have heard really good reviews on this, however. Um, but, yeah. It just takes ages, kind of ages, to uh, soak in. Which I find a real problem. Because you can be just laying around or whatever. And then all of a sudden then all of a sudden it just wipes off which is really annoying but yeah i'm gonna end up decluttering this but this is a pears soap i think it's probably gone all funny and that's why it's that color but i did used to use this for my eyebrows and that is a good tip because i did find that out from someone else and um, that wasn't me you get it wet put your spoolie in there and you do it with your brows because it gets the makeup out and it's really good for that so i'll probably purchase another pair of soap but for the moment that is definitely being decluttered because that is really just not great the next thing is the simple kind to skin hydrating light moisturizer in the winter in the summer i like using this because this is a nice light moisturizer in the winter i like thick good moisturizers that take a while to soak in because it's winter so that's the kind of vibe i like to go for um and in the winter i prefer 
sorry, in the summer, I prefer, um, in the summer, I'll try again, in the summer, I prefer, um, not as thick moisturisers because it's hot, sweaty, and I just want to put it on, I just want to get my skin moisturised, and this is a perfect one for me. Simple, most people say simple, old ladies, or middle-aged, I can assure you, I'm a very young, I'm a, I'm a young, young lady and I use simple um it's, it's not I don't think it's a particularly it's a unisex brand um I think anyway because my fiance uses I think simple shower gel so it's just what you want to go for but this is perfect for summer perfect 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 At the moment I am using the Palmer's uh cocoa butter one which is a nice thick one to go to bed on the next thing is a uh, Flopsy face wash jelly. I think I'm going to declutter it because I haven't really ever used it. And I think it was supposed to go ages ago. Yeah. But um, it didn't really look like a bunny at all, so I won't be repurchasing it from Lush this year. And this is the first Lush product I've actually been really disappointed with. Um, so that's been decluttered because that's just gone into putty now and if I'm honest it wasn't the best um it wasn't the best uh face wash um I've had a lot better face washes from Lush than this so this really let, let them down I think or it let me down it le left me really disappointed um, now I'm going to talk to you about the Yes2 uh, Soothing Daily Cleanser. I love the brand. Oh, I always check something. I love the brand Yes2. I think it's a really, really good um, brand. Um, I always enjoy the cucumber scent. So I think you get the tomato one. Um, I, I don't know what other brand you can get because I'm not familiar with the brand Yes2. I just picked this up. Um, I actually got this from Waitrose, um, but I didn't pay full price because there was no, they, it couldn't scan, so uh, I paid 20p. Um, <laughs> so um, basically you just form it to wet face, you massage into circular motions, and then you avoid the eyes and you rinse off with warm water, and it's a really good cleanser actually. I use this daily um, in the morning and at night, and it's a really good cleanser for that same as this I use this in the morning before I put my makeup on and then I use it at night before I go to bed um well not this particular one at the moment but the same and it's really good so you've got to really look after your skin um because your face is something amazing now I'm going to do the witch uh cleansing uh gel blackhead cleansing gel um a couple of weeks a couple of months ago now I had a few spots on my head. I think they were just like a little bit of spots that came up from a bit of grease or something. But um, it this really, really worked. Um, actually, I bought this in Poundland, I have to be honest, because I saw it in Poundland and thought I'm going to get it. I thought it was a blemish stick to start with, but that really did not put me off whatsoever. Um, it just says here, clothes with collect pores, removes dead skin cells. Yes, it does. Um, skin does come off your face, which is probably dead, um, which is really good. Um, I just, I don't use this every day, but I wish I, I should start using this every day, even though I don't have blackheads currently. I should because it does a really good job. Uh, the next thing I'm going to waffle on to you about is something that I've repurchased, purchased again and repurchased and I go on and off this product like no tomorrow and it is the Body Shop Chamomile, Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. Um, I absolutely love this product as you can see. Got my hands back in. As you can see and this product is amazing. This product gets all your makeup off in one go, not in like one wash not like a wipe where you have to keep going keep going because sometimes i miss always down my jaw here because obviously you always have a little line well i always do but i like it <laughs> and it's just 
makes your skin feel amazing 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 and I've got I ha used to have so many body shop products for your face when I was like, about 13 because my um face used to be so bad it used to be spotty horrible um I was in a horrible mood all the time because I was in so much pain with my face and my spots were bursting it was horrible um, so I went to the body shop and I randomly just picked up some bits. Obviously, I didn't pick up this particular item because I was told chamomile wouldn't be good for my skin. Um, so I never tried it, but I used tea tree most of the time. So when I, when you see the tea tree products in this video, you will obviously see that's where it came from. Um, and it, this one is suitable for sensitive skin. So I have sensitive skin always have done probably always will I don't have oily I don't have normal I have sensitive skin um so this is perfect for me I'll probably have to repurchase another one it's quite expensive I think it's about 14 15 pounds but it does last you a real good time and it really does last you this has probably lasted me about two years now so like I said I go on and off it so in the summer I'll probably go back on it again um, but I'll, I'm actually might use some tonight actually now saying that but I'll, I go on and off it um, like a yo-yo so uh, that's probably why it's lasted me around two years if I probably used it every day I'd probably uh, go through it much quicker the next is a beat legs and arm easy wax electric roll-on refill just because why not I bought this reduced in boots I think for like something stupid like 45p um, because I'm actually going to take it out of the box because it's just holding up the space. Oh, and I keep, keep. The, um, these are the finish wipes for when you, uh, obviously, wax. They're the waxing strips that everyone needs that you can buy separately, same as these. Um, and there's the wax. There you go. So I'm going to get rid of that. And that's just the sensitive skin one again because, again, I've got sensitive skin. I won't probably keep the uh, instructions as I do know how to use it. So that's on the left side. The next thing is the Body Shop Tea Tree Squeaky Clean Scrub. And this is where you get it from because, again, another tea tree item that I've had since I was probably about 13 years old and I haven't really used much use. I used to use it every day when I was about 13. Um, obviously didn't come much down the jar because I can't even see where I am now. Right near the top, I would reckon. Yeah, I'm about this far down. So that shows you how long I was using it for. I was using it for about a week and it did make everything go away, which was brilliant. So um, it's just a scrub, basically, with uh, tea tree oil in it. Um, I believe it just removes every impurity and helps unclog your pores so again it's a bit like the yes to it's a cleanser kind of thing but you just massage it onto wet skin and rinse with clean water once you've taken your makeup off or i always did it once i removed my makeup anyway as we're on the tea tree uh little splurge i will show you the tea tree blemish gel which again like i said i have blemishes so again I've had a cold recently but I can really smell that so again you just put it on the spot and rub it in basically the next thing I haven't been using much but I went through a splurge of going to like a splurge is my new word I think I went on a splurge um, to go to Holland Barrett which sell Dr Organic stuff I believe again I'm just going to get rid of the cardboard because what's the point of keeping it in the cardboard um, I went to uh, Holland and Barrett and bought quite a lot of Dr. Organic products. Um, obviously, like I said, I was having that real breakout time with my skin, where it just wasn't liking me. So I went to uh, uh, Holland and Barrett where I was, I wasn't sent, but I was uh, recommended to go there and to pick up these products. So I spent quite a lot of money on Dr. Organic products i think this cost me alone six pounds when you can get a real like just a normal like mask for 99p and super drug so it the price was um 
huge. But I was really into that free from time. I was really into the organic food stuff. Um, I'm not going to chuck it away because I'm I'm going to have to reuse it and see what I think of it now and see if I still enjoy it. Um, so I will have to test that out at some point. In where I live, we have a little like in the in the high street kind of thing, like a town. We have um, a shop. I'm not quite sure what it's called. No more deep skin. It's called, and it's like just a little row of shops. Um, and this is what I picked up, and I used it for a long time last year, a long, long time. And it's the oil cleansing method, which is the Mugu. I got the normal skin one because at, at the time I didn't have sensitive skin, so it's got a nice little cap there. Um, and it's just using moisturising oil. And I was just, I went into this little shack and the lady said this is what you need your skin looks lovely you don't think you need to be shopping here i was like my skin isn't lovely i can assure you i was like this is all my makeup because i love my makeup how i do it every day um and it just helps clean pores basically um again suffering from blemishes or anything it really helps um i use this every day probably without fail if you would like to see a routine that i do every day then please let me know and i'll probably be featuring some of these products because, like I said, I do use these products every day. Probably use this product every day. I use a moisturiser every day. And I used to use this every day. But I've gone off, off with it now. But, um, yes. So, you just shake uh, the bottle. Um, and then you massage the oil into your face. And then you apply a warm, damp cloth to it. Um, over the face for two to three minutes to steam pores off the skin. And allow the oils to penetrate the skin and then you just rinse the face with a clean plain water and a soft cloth um again it really does do wonders to your skin it will feel great afterwards this is something i'm actually going to declutter because i've used it and used it and used it and i still do not enjoy it and that is the dead sea mud mask by superdrug um again when i was having that real bad splurge i really enjoyed it but no i haven't picked it up for god knows like three years while we're on the thing of masks, I'm going to go on to the ones that I've been enjoying. So this one is the Dead Sea Purifying Clay Mask. Um, I've just picked up another one from Superdrug. And because I don't really have much time to myself, obviously with a part-time job, um, and obviously spending time with my fiancé, I don't really have much time to myself to have a mask. But hey, um, I will get it done at some point. So this is the Dead Sea one. Again, it's brilliant for ideal for oily skin, but I've been using it, I've just been fine, and it's blemish prone skin. Again, when I had that real, real bad like spots over my face when I was about 13 years old, these were my absolute babies. I saw again this in Super Drag, and this is the Tea Tree Deep Cleansing Mud Mask. I used the peel off one and I really enjoyed it. Again, I probably bought this a while ago now, but um I will be using that at some point. Uh, the next one is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Avocado and Oatmeal Clay Mask for normal skin. Um, this is the deep cleans and purifies pores one. Um, again, I haven't used it yet, but it still feels fine inside. Again, I bought this in Superdrug. Avocados, my skin loves. I hate, I hate the smell of them. Oh, I don't hate the smell, but I hate the taste of avocados. Um, but in bath bombs, face masks, anything any product i um, love avocados so good for your skin as well next one is the charcoal and black sugar polishing mask um which again is the draw action for all skin types this one and this one is the draw action purifying mask so i cannot wait for my skin to shine soon and again i have to use this pretty quick um and the last thing that's in the basket before it's empty is the uh, Veet Spray On Hair Removal Cream for Sensitive Skin, and it comes with a little thing again, just sort of like on the tin, really. So, this is the next part of my declutter, which is kind of shower gel kind of things um, and shampoos and stuff I use. So, the first thing which I absolutely love is the Petite Dry Shampoo Coconut and Exotic Tropical. I like this one more than any other one, it just really works for me. Um, so Batiste is a really good dry shampoo brand as well. So I'm definitely keeping that. I buy it when it's on offer usually. 
The next is the L'Oreal Elvive Photo Clear anti dandruff Reglating Shampoo. Um, again, I did write a blog on this a while ago, I think, just a quick little haul when I was just starting into blogging. Um, this, however, I'm going to end up decluttering. I haven't really used much. Luckily, it was on offer in Superdrug, so I haven't really wasted any money. But like I said, usually most of the things I declutter go to my parents, so this will probably just end up in our bathroom at home. But it really doesn't do anything for my hair. It just does for normal hair there, which I think my hair is normal. Like, I don't think I've got anything, like, sensitive about it. It just doesn't really work for me. Um, obviously, it did say silicone-free and everything down here. Flake-free. I I really have, like, um, a tendency for dry skin in my scalp, which um, I think most people do get. Um, but it says four weeks. I used it for four weeks continuously. Um, obviously, not every day, every week. Um, or every couple of day, couple of times a week, um, and it really didn't make no odds to me. So it'll probably go to my mum, and hopefully she'll find it more useful. The next things are two things I've had for a really long time, and it is acetone. Um, I had my gel nails done uh, a couple of years ago now, I think, and I really enjoyed them because I was going on holiday at the time, and I was like, that's fine. I'll get some acetone. So I was really enjoying the acetone, uh, not the acetone, the gel nails, but I thought I might have to come back to school. This is when I was at school, so a couple of years ago now. Um, and I thought, oh, maybe I might have to like take it off. And they were like, oh, we suggest you buy some acetone. So I went to the local chemist and I just bought some acetone there. Um, I've had my uh, ears pierced a while ago when I was about 13 years old would be a bit late but my parents didn't want me to have my ears pierced and moan when I was young um this really has to go in the bin because it's out of date but I had to I don't know if this has to as well actually yeah this has to as well so they both got to be cluttered um but this I used when I obviously had to wash earrings and everything so I'll probably have to pick up some more of that um but I probably won't pick up acetone again because I don't think I'll be needing it Again, like I said before, when I was on a real big Dr. Organic splurge, I spent a lot of money, um, is the aloe vera shampoo. As you can see, that's how much shampoo I've used. But it's gone all glunky and horrible now, so I'm going to really have to declutter this and shame for the conditioner as well. I'm going to have to. Again, when I had real bad problems with my hair, these were the two products that I looked to. So that's brilliant. Although I'm using a new shampoo now, um, which is the Coconut OGX. Um, so that's doing really well for me. Um, again, I'm probably going to have to check these out. Again, when I was having my organic splurge, um, these really helped. But they weren't as good as the aloe vera ones for me. The next thing is a conditioner, which I'm going to keep. And that's the Aussie Miracle Moose, uh, Miracle Moist Conditioner for the hair that's dry, damaged, and a bit unhappy. But obviously, my I use it anyway because it's just conditioner. And then I've got a Tresemme 24-hour body blow dry lotion, which I'm currently using, and it seems to be going really well. I've also got the Schwarz Cup one, which is really good as well. Um, so that is my declutter. I did declutter some things, which is good, which I wanted to get out of it. Like this basket was like literally full. Was full. Now I've only got three products just under it, which is so I'm happy with that so if something's come out of it if not my skincare so that is brilliant I really hope you enjoyed this video I'm not sure when this is going to go up because I do sound like I've got a bit of a cold I still do but I did say I wasn't going to be filming this week I did then that was when I was feeling really ill yesterday and then I felt better in the evening so obviously in the morning I put up a blog post and my video and I said in my description box of why I wasn't filming um, and I said that will be on my blog, so um, it was, I uploaded it, and of course I'm feeling better now, so I thought I was going to film for you, and um, this video will probably be going up on Saturday or Sunday, I'm not really sure, it'll be somewhere around there, but I really hope you have a great day, whatever you're doing, and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to, on, on this video if you haven't already, and I'll see you all next time, bye!